what's up everybody? We are back with another video. It's bright and early. We're actually here at a Walmart that we don't normally come to. Well, let's cross our fingers and let's get to it. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on the earth with my words. All right, we found the dump bin and it is overflowing, guys. We got lots of cars here. Oh, she found an Escort mainline. It's green. I love the green. It is the main line. We'll be lucky enough to find a Honda Civic. Look at these cards. They are together. They group together. Maybe we'll find the Skyline and the Honda Civic. Maybe we'll find another Ain't Fair Treasure Hunt. We need to go get a cart. Yes, we do. Carmen had a great idea about grabbing a cart, so I went and grabbed a cart. Let's get back to her and see what she's found. I'm curious about these. I know. They look fresh. What are we looking for? BK, so there should be a Skyline and a Gold Civic. Keep oh, an eye out. Keep for. an eye out for the green yeah. Escort. Saw two over here, but there. Um, there's also an Ain't Fair Treasure Hunt bus. It's like a black one with flames on it. Oh, these are definitely just tossed in here. These are definitely, definitely fresh. Somebody has definitely just tossed these in here. Ooh, we do got a Camaro SS. And uh, that would be the Super, but that is definitely the main line. So there's a Super in this for the B case, and this is mm -hmm. B case. It's potentially possibly a Super um, for this as well. Um, this is the B case, but I've yeah. heard stories of there being a Super. We're going to grab a few of these Loopsters. We're going to connect them and see what they can do. We also might potentially grab the main line Camaro and the Escort. Yeah, I like that green car. Yeah, the green is eye-catching. Ooh, look at this Audi. Do I already have this? I believe you do. That's the e-tron. Yep. Okay. Man, those were some fresh cards. Ford GT40. That is pretty cool. Eight ball. We still have some fresh cards here. Yep. Look at that, guys. They are stacked here. Somebody's been in here already and stacked them up like that. Or these are fresh boxes put in here. Um, it's hard to tell. This could have been a late night stock. Possibly somebody's already been through it. Looks, it's kind of looking like it's possible. I think they were just put in. You like think this. they were just put in like I think this? This dump bin was, they probably consolidated. That's kind of cool looking. That is awesome. They kind of consolidated everything on that side, I think, and then threw the new ones in here, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, they may have laid them in here. Still worth a shot to look at the other It's always worth a shot. You never know what people miss, because we've been through plenty of dump bins where people have been through them, and boom, that's where we found our best stuff. Get the monster high. We are looking for a Civic and a Skyline main line. It's crazy that we haven't it's, found either. It's been really popular, almost more popular than the treasure hunts. A lot of these little gray Fiat. Uh, I can't believe that somebody's taken all the Skylines and all the Civics. Oh, we've got another Loopster. We're going to definitely get a roller coaster going, guys. I am excited. I think it's like a purplish Skyline, too. I've never seen one in person yet. C6 Corvette. Also, the treasure hunts could be on the pegs. Oh, yeah. Well, we've definitely had a bunch of new cases in here, that is for sure. Probably. Right. Well, I should probably put all these back. Yeah. We put some back and we're going to continue to check the other two sides. And so far, we have not found one Civic. And we have not found one Skyline. So definitely, definitely a popular main line. And uh, we'll see if we'll be lucky enough to find anything. You still want these, baby? Yeah. We're going to get a few going. I see a green car down there, and it is a main line. I think we got a decent one. It has one little nick on it. We didn't find as much freshies over here as we did over here. That is okay. We're going to go ahead and put everything back from the cart in here. And we're going to go over and check the pegs.
update we just put all the cars back in the dump bin that was a lot of work we are going to pick up a handful of loopsters and maybe possibly a few more if we come across i want to see what they do connect them possibly get a track and see what they do and we are going to pick up the mainline ford escort and the mainline camaro ss as well just in case we ever come across a super in the future we'll be able to see the comparison side by side so we are here checking the pegs carmen is looking through them She's looking for that gold Civic Si, guys, and that Skyline. What color is the Skyline? It's like a purple, oh. dark purple, I think. It's kind of got like a livery on it, though. Yeah, so this is all from the same case. So put a bunch of them on the pegs. There's another roller coaster. Another loopster. There's another one over here, too. Can you grab it? Yeah. We probably don't need too much more, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So we got one, two, three, four. The way these are laying here, it definitely makes me think someone's been here for sure. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Because that was a lot of cases. Right. Let's see here. Sometimes I've seen people finding them in the 20 packs and the 8 packs as well. And, uh, that would be great for a Lucy if we did come across it in like an eight pack or something. There's nothing. Nothing? Look at the All right. Oh, wait. We got to check the matchbox real quick. Oh, we're still looking for that white. That or the green Audi. Our buddy Nate did grab us an, a green Audi, and uh, we'll probably meet up with him later and do a trade. We actually have a. Toyota Supra from the Fast and Furious with the GTR livery that we are going to do a little bit of a trade and uh, and hopefully we'll be able to meet up with him later and see what he's got. Over here we have Toretto houses. Right, we have double packs. What do we have? The flip car, the Mustang. Looks like no Sylvia's, no Evo's. And well, well, I take that back. We do have one Sylvia here. We are going to leave it for somebody right there on the front. We do have one of those for our collection. But we will leave that there for somebody. Let's check the NASCAR. See if we can find a chase. We've never found a chase in anything yet, guys. So um, this is the Hendrickson, so number seven. So let's take a quick look to see if we can see a number seven. We've found the main line before, but uh, we don't see it there. And it's just the same set, Hendrickson, yep, yeah, number seven. And uh, it doesn't look like I'm seeing a number seven anywhere. Anywhere there. We got Kings of Crunch. M2s. Got funny cars, dodges, and got nothing there. And it's looking pretty slim for M2s. Got a little Volkswagen. Got a McLaren 720S and the pink slips. That is pretty rad, not gonna lie. Um, we do have some 132 Jadas. Um, that is awesome. We are gonna leave that for somebody else. And, uh, yeah, we got nothing but Land Rover Defenders. And uh, I wish they even had some different color wheels on that just so we could take it for wheel swaps. But uh, yeah, guys, we're not seeing too much here. We do got some 124 Lamborghinis down there, um, but we are gonna keep it moving. Uh, nobody's wanting the Jay Leno sets, um, so that's kind of sad. But let's keep it moving and let's head over to Fred Meyer. All right, guys, we're here at Fred Meyer and uh, we're gonna see what we can find. Uh, I do have my hat on backwards now for good luck, you know, you know, because I'm the backwards man, you know? So here we are, our first dump bin. Let's take a quick peek, see if anything looks fresh there on the top. And uh, they don't look bad. They don't look bad. We got Q case. Never seen that truck before. The Jeep one, yeah, it's a pretty nice truck. These are fresh cards, okay. so that is a good sign. Bring the cart over here, bud. Everyone's been telling us to use a cart, so that's what we're gonna do. You heard the lady. Yes, man. That car, I've never seen that one either. Oh, wow, that's kind of cool. Solero. We've got a Viper. It's pretty cool. Yeah, let's take a quick peek yeah, here. Fresh. There's at least a few freshies on the top, so let's take a quick little peek. 
see what's going on. Uh, ooh. Windshield's down. There's an Audi. We got that one, though. Jeep Scrambler. Seeing some of the same cars that we saw at oh, yeah. Walmart. We've seen these cases before. Another Audi. Tesla Roadster. Alright, the cards are starting to go a little rougher yeah. as we get down towards the bottom. So, we just so we'll probably uh, not look any deeper, guys, but we will skim here. Another Audi e tron. Got it. You got that in three colors red, white, and gray, I think. We got this little tiny dump bin by the checkout. We'll take a quick glance, real quick. We do have the Nissan Leaf. And uh, yeah, the 18 Camaro Copo SS. It's actually a pretty cool little drag car. I Do you have that in black? I know you got it in white. Yeah, I believe you do got it in black. Yes, you do. Okay. And here's another e-tron. You have that one in red. There it is in gray. at our store we got to kind of keep it blabbering a little bit because there is music so we don't want to get a copyright strike so let's check out what we got going on here we got a mercedes benz from the c case there is a super in this there is yep red one. be a really shiny sparkly red you said i have this one yes you do and these cards are looking a little rough here in my opinion yeah. this thing's almost broken completely in half let's move, on. let's move on let's see what's here hanging on the pegs pretty much looks like the same stuff from last time we were here. Um, we do have the quick bite here. Uh, the cards are looking a little rough. We got another Porsche. We'll grab that tuned Porsche. And uh, yeah, guys, I don't, I'm not seeing too much. We got a Honda Civic Custom. We got the 2023 Nissan Z car. It's pretty awesome. We have this awesome h to go boat. And uh, we're just gonna quickly peek at these pegs i do not see much so we are just going to grab our tuned porsche and keep it moving <sighs> looks like somebody has kind of peeked through it a little bit we have a porsche wagon we got the cosmo main line we have the audi we already have that one and uh let's keep it moving let's keep it moving and i have the white one you do have the white one there's another tuned Porsche. Grab another tuned Porsche. Take a quick peek at what's going on here. I don't feel like there's too much fresh stuff. Um, the cards aren't in bad shape, but they aren't freshly tossed over. And uh, we do have a Nova Wagon here. And shout out to our friend, Lightspeed Steve, once again, for getting us this car. We did do an unboxing on it. It's a pretty cool casting so Thank you, Steve. We do have the Volvo Drift Wagon Mainline. Lucky enough to come across a Dotson or another treasure hunt Baja. I don't know how deep we want to go in this set, guys, because it does look like somebody's thoroughly been through this probably more than once. Got a little mighty K in case.
Well, the dump bins weren't looking too good, guys, but we are gonna check out the premiums real quick. You know what? I've been seeing a lot of people getting these Mazisto, and uh, they're actually not bad. They are pretty cool haulers. Like that Buick Grand National is pretty rad. Um, I kind of overlooked these quite a few times, but we also have the Datsun 280Z. We have the Bel Air, and we do have the Buick Riviera. We have a Caprice and another Bel Air. And uh, yeah, some pretty cool castings there. I'm gonna keep it moving down here. And let's check the matchbox. Looks like pretty much leftovers going on here. And yeah, I don't see much going on there. Let's check the moving parts. And uh, that is the older wave of moving parts. You have some pretty fresh boxes. Somebody's obviously been in it and you can see them flipped around like that. And uh, yeah. Well, what do you see? It's an Acura. Is it? An NSX? Yeah, it is. It's actually kind of cool. Some team transports going on here. We have the Rover. I like the flatbed. I don't like the red, white, and blue. I like these trailers. We got the Metro MG. And yeah. What else do we got here? Kind of looks like pretty much the same stuff left over and over again. And yeah, guys, that doesn't look too good. Uh, we'll check the five packs real quick. Do we see anything good? Does not look like it. Got another Tesla Roadster right there. And uh, we got nothing for premiums. Mm -hmm. I have seen these Batman ones popping up. Um, you can see there they are the 2024 um, Wave with the uh, mid-grade there, the silver logo. And it looks like we have a lot of the castings here. You got the Batmobile, you got the Caprice, and you have, I believe this, what is this, the Robin car? Solid Muscle. Uh, they're fantasy cars, of course, except for the Caprice. Um, but you got, I believe, it um, looks like there's five in the wave, and it uh, looks like there's three of them at least there. Uh, we got Mandalorian, and we got some Jurassic World left behind. We got the Unimog. Um, yeah, not much else going on here, guys. Um, we'll take a quick peek down here and see if there's anything hiding behind any of these fantasy cars. Every time we're at the store, the displays and dump bins just never seem to stop popping up. You walk around the corner, boom, another display. Walk around the corner, boom, another dump bin. But let's check this out. You can see here, somebody's already kind of been through it. Let's just take a quick skim, just kind of peek over the top and see if there is anything good. Because um, what's good to me might not be good to someone else. So they might leave it behind. And uh, I'm not going to dig through every car here. But uh, last time we found that car under there, e-tron, we got the Jeep wagon here, but yeah, whoops, and a bone shaker, it doesn't look like much is going on, but it was worth a shot, you never know where they're going to drop the fresh cards, and these are definitely, definitely not fresh cards. These cards are rough. All right, guys, let's keep it moving. We are here in the rain, enjoying the Pacific Northwest. Um, I think the people that live here kind of take the rain for granted because a lot of the places in the South and the East Coast and even, you know, down in the south Southwest Coast, um, it's just dry down there. So we just kind of appreciate the rain and we just enjoy it while we can. We so, appreciate the rain. Well, we try to appreciate the rain. You got to. Anyways, we're here at Target. We're gonna cross our fingers and test our luck. Well, last time we were here, they were pretty much wiped out clean. So let's hope they did do a little more of a restock. And uh, Carmen got a cute little hoodie there. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like a Care Bear. So let's say all the love on the back. I like it. It's awesome. Cute. They didn't have it in my size. So I, unfortunately, she only got one. I didn't get one. 
And uh, yeah, look at this. How does the store even let their store look like this? Um, we do have some greenies. Do we have any chases? We've never found a chase in anything, guys. House. We got Toronto houses. We need the train track set. We got some moving parts. There is the Mustang convertible. Shout out once again to our buddy Lightspeed Steve. He did get us that. It was awesome because we were able to do an unboxing. We are looking for the Lamborghini Aventador. Am I wrong? Is there even a Lamborghini Aventador in the uh, moving parts set? Um, I could have swore I seen something online. And uh, ooh, I like that Lamborghini Aventador hyperspec from Jada. And we got the Huracan right there in blue. And uh, we got the Menino. It's a pretty cool little bus. Um, yeah, let's keep it moving. Got the Audi e-tron pink slips. The Matchbox. Ultra Hots. We are getting a lot of these Z cars. We're just going to leave that one on the pegs for somebody else right on the front. Of course, the Civics appear to be gone. But somebody did leave the dots and Z, so that is pretty cool. I'm going to leave that right on the front for somebody else. And, uh, Is that, haven't you been eyeballing that one? Just buy that. Uh, we do want another team transport to open, not this one. And here is the other Mercedes Benz that we already purchased. We already bought that one. And uh, yeah, we're gonna hang those back up on the pegs for somebody else. And uh, what do we got here? We got the Mercedes Benz G Class, and uh, we are wiped out pretty Wait clean. Till you see the dump bin, Ben. Oh man, oh man. I don't know what that means. Probably means that there's nothing. Oh, look at that. I know somebody opened it. I already looked. Oh, see okay. How it ended up like that. Okay, okay. Opened it I was going to say, wow, look at that. We've never seen an upside down car before. Um, so that's pretty cool. We do have that one. Yes, we do. You have that in three colors. Oh, cool. So now we have an even eight. And I think we'll be good with eight. And uh, we do need to find some sort of track or something. I don't know if we're going to go to the Dollar Tree or what, but we need to find some sort of track system to put them down and connect them all. But we will find some sort of track system. Where's the dump bin? We'll follow the lead. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're not even going to look. I'm not even going to show you guys. I'm not even going to show you guys what's in the dump bin. Okay. There. See, there was nothing. There was nothing. There was nothing. Literally, Zippo. It's literally an empty box. Why well, even have an empty box? Maybe that means they're maybe we should stay here all day. Maybe they're gonna they're gonna uh, bring some. New cars. They need to up the stock. I mean, look, that's like saying all the TVs are gone. Let's take all the TVs off the wall and be empty oh, like and cords there. hanging from the wall. You can't leave an empty box in your store. I feel like they're starting to stock though. Like it's stocking time here. It could be. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Carmen found something a little special. We were down here checking out the uh, clearance toys, and we found a Hot Wheel sitting on the shelf. And what's interesting about it is it's actually custom painted. This was somebody's pocket car, apparently, Why because did they leave it there? Uh, somebody got this and they painted it hot pink with a glitter paint job. You can see it's chipping off, so they didn't do any prep work. It's probably just somebody that came. Their kid brought it. And oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, this was not a stolen opening car. Somebody brought this and left it there. Um, guys, remember, if you guys do want to paint your cars, you have to prep them, you have to sand them. And uh, yeah, let's keep it moving. All right, we are at the Hobby Lobby. Look at this beautiful woman over here. All right, we are walking around in the rain. We are at a Hobby Lobby we've never actually been to. And uh, we're gonna see what we can find. We are here, let's check out what they got. We got a whole wall full of pegged cars here. So let's check out the M2 model kits real quick. We got nothing there. And some green lights. You gotta keep an eye out for the green wheels and anything uh, chromish green. Got a Charlie's Angels. Got an old Chevelle. Got a four post lift there. BF Goodrich. I actually kind of like that. Uh, running on empty. Got a black bandit. Lord like Thunberg. Oh, wow. Those are interesting. We got the Camaro. Mm -hmm. Why are they all jacked up like that? It's pretty freaking awesome. Red and white Chevy truck, beautiful truck. It's a 73, so same front end as my truck. 
um, but it's got something weird going on. It's all dragged out. It's lifted up in the rear. Awesome, cool casting. The paint's a little messed up there, but that is pretty cool from Johnny Lightning. There is a couple of those. We're going to leave them behind. I'm not a fan of the stance, but great find. Um, we're just going to kind of move some things around here. Um, here's the Garbage Pal Kids, or Garbage Pail Kids. That is before my time. Probably more Carmen's time. She says, uh-huh. Some Johnny Lightnings. We got some hitched. We got the Winnebagger trailer. Um, yeah, we got lots of greenies. We got Korea. Got the Mustang police car. Space Jam cars. And uh, got a nice trailer there. Be kind of cool to find something we could open up. And uh, Kings of Crunch. And uh, yeah, we might pick up this lift. This four post lift is pretty nice. I don't know, we'll just leave it behind. Let's just leave it behind. We do not need it. We do not need it. Let's keep it going. Let's check out these Johnny Lightnings. Maybe we'll find a white lightning. And there is another truck all gassed up. Ford Maverick. Now we do have one premium. Interesting. One premium Hot Wheels left behind. A nice flatbed trailer there. Got one there. Nothing that I want though. Beautiful charger. Love that green with the black vinyl top. And uh, we got some M2s. Keep it going, what we got up here? And we got some James Bond 007 Toyota 2000 GT Roadsters. Looks like we got a few of those left behind. Nobody's wanting them. And this was a hard one to see. There is a green chase in this. But uh, look at that bed. <laughs> it's all bent. You guys see the angle going on there? It is bent. Like something was really heavy loaded up in the back. And uh, that was pretty awesome. We had lots of cars to look at. Um, no chases. Unless I missed something. But uh, we are... Ooh, what do we have here? Is that a chase? I believe that is a chase. We are going to pick this up. Look at that right there. Terminator 2, green light Hollywood with the green hubcaps. There we go. There is our first chase, guys. Holy smokes. We found our first chase. Down here, we found a green light chase. That is an awesome 66 Shelby. Take a quick look to see what else is going on. Can we find a regular version? So right here, this is a green light brand. Mm -hmm. They make smaller castings. Got the green. See the green wheels? You just were telling me that. That's it's, what we're looking it's, for. It's a chase. We've never found a chase. This is from Terminator 2, Judgment Day. And this is awesome. It's a little spendy, but it is a chase, so we got to get it. It's our first and only chase in a 124 scale. And it's actually a pretty cool old Caprice cop car. Green light chase. There we go. Mm -hmm. Want to hold I'm that? Buy this for you, baby. It would be cool to find the other one to see what it looked like and compare them. And uh, let's check these M2s real quick. So somebody either left that behind or missed it. Sometimes people don't want to buy the $30 chases. But it being our first chase, I'm buying it. It's a beautiful... If I can find a nice hauler, I'd love to pick up a hauler. It's a nice flatbed like that. Got a couple gas pumps but anyways that is awesome our first chase green light chase and uh wow i'm super glad we came here it was her idea all right guys that is awesome well we are here back in town uh, at our local walmart so we are going to check out and see what they got hanging on the pegs see if there's something new and uh looking like leftovers there not even gonna bother there and somebody's been buying all the minis. So the minis have been so getting purchased. One, right? We are looking for another white one. And uh, we got a Volvo there. Got nothing new from Matchbox. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Yeah. And we got nothing. We got some team transports going on here. 
and it uh, looks like the same sets that were over at Target. And uh, what do we got for new for premiums? Nothing. And uh, yeah, we have nothing. We got nothing but leftovers on the eight foot tall rack. They're starting to spread out a little bit more and uh, nothing. And our dump bin is looking pretty much sadder than ever. So we are gonna keep it moving guys, let's go. We're here at Fred Meyer, just dropped Carmen off at the nail salon to get her nail fixed. She just got her nails done and actually chipped one within like the first day or two. So she's just getting that fixed up. It'll just be a few minutes. So just stopped by Fred's, gassed up the car. Uh, that was so awesome guys, stopping by Hobby Lobby and catching that green light chase. Our first green light and also our first chase ever across all platforms. So super pumped on that find. Let's see if Fred Meyer's got a restock. It's been a few weeks. It's been a little bit dry across all of our stores locally here, especially for Hot Wheels. So let's see what they got. And we got nothing guys. It looks like the same stuff that's been hanging here forever. And some rough cards. What do we got here? Do we have a full set still here? Does it exist? We've got one, two, one, two, three, four. Do we have the fifth? I think the Dots car is the only one I'm not seeing. And uh, no, it looks like we do not have the full set any longer hanging behind. The Dots car was the last one that does not look like it's hanging here, so yeah. People are liking these. I asked on a recent poll what you guys were looking for, and uh, you guys all seem to like the candy set. Check here on the premiums. We got Super Mario, and uh, man, nothing but Mandalorian, and nobody wants that Chevelle delivery. Unfortunate, because that would make a cool custom. Um, what else do we have here? Check the mainline pegs real quick. But uh, looks like all the same stuff that's been hanging here forever. So yeah, what do we have new for five packs? Anything? I see nothing. We got some five packs up there. We got nothing. And check the matchbox. Same old stuff. And uh, some moving parts. Got some collectors, Z car, 3000 GT, Lexus, and uh, yeah, we got nothing there. And Fred Meyer was a bust once again. We are really needing a restock around here, all across the board Target, Walmart, Fred Meyer, just everywhere. We've had nothing new. Um, but cross your fingers, guys. I think things are going to be changing here soon. I think we're just going to get hit with a storm of Hot Wheels cars. So stay tuned. Don't give up hope. Um, it's just how it's going to be here just for a little bit longer. And you can see here in the Pacific Northwest, Washington, uh, this is what we get 90% of the time is rain, rain, rain. And that's why everything is so green. Another Hobby Lobby. And uh, we picked Carmen up. She got her nail fixed. Look at those things. Nice and bright. We like the pink. And uh, let's see. Could we find two green light chases in one day? We do have a bunch of pegged cars here. So let's check the Johnny Lightning, see if we have any white lightnings. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful Bel Air right there. And uh, got a Super Mario Brothers, Hot Wheels. We got another 007. We got some M2s, Turtle Wax. Let's see here. Oh, that's a really cool Hummer with the K10 Blazer. That is beautiful. Nice bands. Jada Punch Buggy. That's pretty cool. I've never even seen these Jada cars before. We got a whole Volkswagen wave with the bus. And we're looking through here and I'm not finding much. And uh, I'm not finding anything with green wheels. We got a pretty cool RX-7 here. It's a 1981, so it's the old school RX-7. Pretty cool um, from Johnny Lightning. And uh, yeah, we got lots of stuff going on here. We got this pretty cool Bronco with the livery. We got a nice Pennzoil four post rack here. Um, that is pretty tempting, not gonna lie for my customs, but I think we're just gonna leave it. I do not think we need it. And uh, let's check down here on the 124 scales. And I love this patinaed out. 
GT350. It is not the Chase. And uh, we've got the A-Team, A-3. So let's just kind of put these down here for now. Um, we have the Crown Vic Taxi. And we also have the 83 GMC. And I believe that just this all red wheels. Yeah, no chase there. No chase. So we're just going to set those back up. And uh, yeah, we have the Crown Vic police car right there. And uh, that's about it, guys. It doesn't look like we have anything. Nothing but green wheels, but we are going to check out. All right, guys, we're back at the crib. Let's go over the what we got. Today was an awesome day. We started off the day by hitting a Walmart that we normally don't hit. And uh, we weren't lucky enough to come across any treasure hunts or supers. But I did go ahead and just pick up the mainline versions of the Ford Escort and the Camaro SS. Uh, I thought they're pretty cool castings anyway. And just in case we ever come across a Super, it would be kind of cool to make sure that we do have the main line to go with it to compare the differences. I've also been super curious on picking up a few of these Loopsters. So we got eight of them here. We're gonna unbox them in a future video and we're gonna go ahead and connect them and send them down some sort of track and see what they can do. And also don't sleep guys, make sure you guys go check out our last video and make sure you enter our 2024 january giveaway it's almost the end of the month here and in just a few days we will be doing a live video we will be drawing a special name from the raffle ticket jar and we will be picking a subscriber to win these five premium hot wheels cars we got the whole set make sure you guys go check out that last video and uh, make sure to leave a comment to enter the contest we also came across our first green light and it is a freaking chase at that so check it out it super caught me off guard because i knew we were kind of looking for something with green wheels and i finally got past all the 164 scale stuff and i got down to the 124 scale and there it was right in front of me a 124 scale terminator 2 judgment day 87 caprice with the green wheels it's a green light casting we do got to get rid of that Hobby Lobby sticker there that says $29.99, which actually surprisingly, when Carmen and I checked out, um, it rang up at $19.99. So she actually purchased this car at $20. And uh, this thing is super awesome. It's our first green light chase, our first police car, and our first green light period for the collection. And uh, this is awesome. You can see there the green wheels. They do look pretty funny, but of course it is green light. So super, super pumped. Um, we've been wanting to come across a chase of some sort at some point, and today was the day. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys can, please click the thumbs up button. It does help the channels out. It does keep us going for you guys. And if you guys can, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you like, what you don't like. Tell us what you think of the videos. And if you guys haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one. Ooh, like LeBron, though, or like Bronzo Ooh, I'm a baller, yeah, shot caller, yeah They love me, you can't touch me, nah